In today's video, I'm going to break down what I believe to be one of the better defenses that you could possibly use to defend the Trips tight end offense in Madden 22. Now, if you're new to the channel, I want to encourage you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Uh, I release new videos every single day that can help you become a better Madden player. And also, if you're looking to get really good at this game, I'd really encourage you to check out my Patreon membership. It's just $10 a month. For just $10 a month, you're going to get access to every ebook that I've released. So far, we've got 14 offensive and defensive ebooks available in the Patreon membership for you guys. And that includes this 46 nickel 335 to 335 wide concept that we're going to share with you in this video. Now, why I wanted to break this down is because I actually played in the LCQ and I was I was playing against uh, Kobo, who's one of the better players in the game this year. And he absolutely gave me fits with this concept. Um, it's a concept that I've talked about here on the channel a little bit before. We're going to talk about it again, but it's a cover one robber style of defense. I think that this is one of the better ways to play defense right now, just with the way the meta is, the way the route concepts, the type of routes in particularly that get open against man to man. If you actually think that through for just a second, you're going to know that the types of routes that get open against a man defense primarily are crossing routes, slant routes, post routes, angle routes to the back, stuff like that. And this cover one robber style approach, because of a very special zone that you get attached with some of the principles of the cover one defense itself, make this a really, really good concept and something that I think you can add to your scheme. So, like I said, we're in the 46 playbook. If you want to learn more about 335 wide defense, there's a link in the description below uh, where you can join the Patreon for just 10 bucks to be able to get access to all that stuff. You don't have to, it's literally month to month. So if you, if you need to cancel it for whatever reason, you can always do that as well. But uh, what we're going to do here out of the 335 wide is we're going to put that cover one robber in our audibles, okay? And then what we're going to do is we're going to put in uh, corners and safeties and our, put our best coverage guys in, basically. Uh, we're putting our best coverage guys in that we possibly can so we can put middle linebacker or uh, safeties in at, at linebacker. And then we're going to audible down from uh, cover one or cover four, whatever you want to do. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to play – this cover one robber. Now, the adjustments that I like to do, in particularly against trips, the biggest thing that we want to do, we know that we want to use her this middle linebacker, but as you can notice here, he's in man coverage on the running back. So I actually have a little bit of a recommendation that I would recommend from a coverage perspective, but I'm going to teach as to why I really like this. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually crab, we're going to crash our line out. And then what we're going to do here is we're going to take this defensive end on the right side of the screen. And we're actually going to put him in a bluff blitz assignment. What that's going to do is it's actually going to kind of give us some, you know, ability to play some max coverage out of this because we only have to rush two people whenever you bluff blitz. What you're going to see here is if this running back goes on a wheel, this three rec typically will kind of drop in the middle of the field just like that. And as you can see, you have some options. Now, the next thing that we're going to do, obviously, because we blitzed our user, we need somebody to cover the running back. So what I like to do with this is I like to go ahead and take this linebacker over here and actually put him in man-to-man -man coverage on the running back. Now that's going to leave this guy in that three-rack hook defender, which is really what we want. And then lastly, what we're going to do is we're going to take a backside linebacker here, Duggar, and we're actually going to cross man him onto the tight end. The beauty of audibling down from 335 to 335 wide is that this exists right here. And then what we're able to do with our user is we can kind of help on any corner routes or anything essentially over the top to that side of the field. Now, what you want to do with the safety on the back side here, honestly, it's up to you. You could leave him in this deep zone if you want to. You could also put him in a curl flat zone so that he'll defend some of those things that are very popular, such as like a tight end post or, you know, a motion crosser across the field. You could do either one of those adjustments. And then again, you're going to want to use her, uh, this guy right here. So you see, this is kind of how the defense works. And I'm just going to go with one of the most popular route combinations uh, in this formation. And what you're going to notice is this three rec gives you a lot of freedom. You're free to go help on pretty much anything because that three rec will really help defend that slant route. It stops one of the best route combos in the game, and that is the slant post concept. The three rec hook zone, I cannot stress enough, especially when it comes down from the safety position, is very, very uh, advantageous to your defense. So again, this is kind of what it looks like. You might want to go ahead and shift your D-line, you know, one way or the other. But what I love about this concept is that we could take this guy on the back side of the formation and we could put him in man coverage on who we could put him in man coverage on the back if we wanted to. Another thing you could do is you could take this defensive end, which is likely a linebacker, and you could put him in man coverage. You could drop this guy into um, a zone if you wanted to. I really do like to occasionally 
drop this guy into a hard flat because then that kind of deters them from running those running back uh, quick to the flat type of concepts. And then on this backside here, we got the backside man coverage that can kind of help with, you know, a, an in route or something like that. And then you can run the defense this way. Now your primary responsibility with this is any crosser from left to right as far as like a deep crosser. So you're going to kind of carry here and then you're going to come peel back. But notice how these route, this uh, defense really stops those little baby in routes that are so popular uh, out of trip side in. Another concept that this stops that's actually really, really good, and this is another reason why this defense is so powerful, um, specifically against the uh, specifically against the trip side in, is this deep dig route that we're gonna you're gonna see that I'm gonna run right here. Uh, and and basically what this deep dig route is 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 simply you know something that they have is kind of a check down. So again, you're gonna carry. So we're gonna carry the crosser. So you see here. We're carrying this crosser, but look at this. That's going to be a bait, and I'm, I'm just telling you right now, you're going to get more picks than you think on that. That three reg defender is so good uh, out of this out of this cover one robber. It really is one of the best pieces uh, within this. Is this guy, you just let him play. I mean, just trust me on that. Just let him play. If you were, if you really wanted to, you could use her this guy. If you wanted to, you could use her this guy. Obviously, you don't because... Um, you don't want to give away anything, but notice something else you can do here. I can man this. This is what 335 wide is so good. I can man this set backside safety up on anybody that I want as well. So let's say that I wanted to take this guy um, and, and, you know, maybe use him in a coverage. You know, maybe it might look something like, you know, I want to man him up on the running back. I want to man him up on the tight end. And then I want to drop that guy off the line of scrimmage for, you know, some type of tight end corner route or, you know, maybe they're throwing, you know, whatever to the quick flat or, you know, whatever you want to do. So you have some coverage that you can kind of build into this. And, you know, you could do something like this and, and basically kind of bank on the fact that a lot of times out of trips tied in, they don't really put the running back on a route, right? It's not always that they're going to put a running back on a route. So you could go to a concept like that against this. You've got your user in the middle of the field here. And look at this concept. There's pretty much nothing open. You're going to go back to that deep post every single time because that's your responsibility. But other than that, your crossers, your corners, this cover one robber defense is a really good, uh, really, really good job at slowing that down. Shout out to Kobo. He kicked my butt uh, with this concept. And again, you know, sometimes you got to lose to get better. So thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to learn some of my stuff, you want to learn how uh, to run this from other formations, you want to learn other defenses, other offenses, you want to learn the full version of this 335 wide stuff, I'd really encourage you to check out the Patreon. There's a link in the description below. And you can sign up for that for just 10 bucks. And literally every week we're coming out with new content in the Patreon, trying to help you get better, help you become a better Madden player. So thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you're still watching, head on down to the description and check out that Patreon membership.